Welcome back. 513 now, 2 News Today. And family and friends in Clark County are searching for answers in the disappearance of a Springfield mother. We're on your side with the five things you need to know for this Tuesday ahead. It has been a year since 56-year-old Faith Wilson, Willison, a mother of two boys, went missing. A delivery driver reported seeing her car go off the road along East National Road at 6.30 in the morning, but when he came back around to check on her, there was no one in the car. Deputies say she's been missing without a trace ever since. Well, tonight, family and friends will hold a candlelight vigil for Faith at Buck Creek State Park at the Oak Grove Shelter House from 7 to 9. We could see new developments today in the investigation at the Dayton VA Hospital. Today, Congressman Mike Turner is going to be handing over additional Department of Veterans Affairs investigative documents requested by the hospital. An internal investigation at the VA Hospital found at least five vets tested positively for hepatitis B or C, possibly due to improper sanitary procedures there. Nearly 5,000 pounds of food has been collected now for seniors in need, and today those donations are going to be handed out. It is happening at the Second Harvest Food Bank in Springfield, going out to the needy residents in Clark, Champaign, and Logan counties. And during the month of May, Comfort Keepers asked the community to make donations to the Stop Senior Hunger Food Drive. And boy, you did. Thank you so much for your efforts. And the last space shuttle mission moves one step closer to liftoff today. NASA managers will conduct the flight readiness review for Atlantis at the Kennedy Space Center and later brief the uh, media on their efforts. The shuttle is set for liftoff July 8th a 12-day mission to the International Space Station to deliver parts and supplies. It will be the space agency's last shuttle flight. Yellow Springs is in the running for the title of the most fun town in the first Best of the Road contest. 30 U.S. towns have been selected to compete in different categories, and today the committee that decides the top prize will be in town for the opening ceremony at the train station taking place at 10. Also happening today in the Springs, a uh, street fair will be held tonight, beginning at 7, ladies.